Hepatitis B is one of those viruses that shapes the health of millions of people around the world, yet many people don't realize how easily the virus slips past both our defenses and our awareness. And now recent changes at the CDC have brought the virus back into the center of public health conversation. I'm Dr. Darian Sutton, a board-certified emergency medicine physician and ABC News medical correspondent, and we're in the ABC News newsroom. Hepatitis B is an incurable viral infection and an ongoing public health challenge. It is highly infectious, up to 100 times more infectious than HIV, can survive on surfaces for up to a week, and is effective at hiding in communities and in the people it infects. Back in 1991, the United States recommended that the hepatitis B vaccine be given to all infants at birth, followed by two additional doses before the child's second birthday. Since the introduction of the universal hepatitis B vaccine birth dose, new infections among teens and adolescents dropped by nearly 90%, and chronic infections among infants dropped by more than 95%. But just last week, the CDC removed its recommendation for all infants to get a dose of the hepatitis B vaccine at birth, instead shifting to focus on only high-risk infants getting a dose at birth. So let's talk about hepatitis B, how it hides, how it persists, and how we prevent it. The hepatitis B virus travels through blood and bodily fluids and is extremely infectious. Even a microscopic amount can transmit infection. This includes exposures through intimacy, birth, from mother to child, and from shared items that create micro-injuries like nail clippers, piercings, or unsterilized salon or barbershop tools. Once inside the body, the virus targets the liver, and when symptoms do appear, they often mimic the common cold or flu. Muscle aches, body pain, fatigue, sometimes abdominal pain, but for most who get acutely or newly infected, there are no symptoms at all. This allows the virus to live chronically inside the body silently. Today, the CDC estimates that nearly 640,000 people in the United States are living with chronic hepatitis B, and about half don't know they're infected. Those living with chronic hepatitis B can still be infectious and unknowingly transmit the virus to others. Age is the strongest predictor of chronic infection, as the underdeveloped immune system of a child provides the greatest opportunity for the virus to infect. Most healthy adults, for example, who become infected can clear the virus on their own, Typically, less than 5% of adults exposed to the virus develop chronic hepatitis B. But if a baby is infected with hepatitis B, approximately 90% will go on to develop a chronic infection. The damage from chronic hepatitis B is often slow and silent. The virus settles into liver cells, multiplies, causes ongoing inflammation and scarring, and symptoms and complications from this might not appear until adulthood. Evidence reviewed by the World Health Organization have shown that the hepatitis B vaccine is highly effective at preventing this infection and independent reviews of more than 400 studies, including work from the Vaccine Integrity Project, show that the hepatitis B vaccine has a strong safety profile, and the risk of infection from this virus far exceeds any rare risk associated with the vaccine. Under the new CDC guidance, mothers are advised to undergo testing, and the birth dose of the hepatitis B vaccine is recommended only for infants of mothers who test positive or with an unknown status. All other infants, the CDC recommends delaying the first dose until two months of age. Up to 18% of mothers within the United States do not receive testing, and more than half of those who test positive do not receive the appropriate follow-up. Although testing doesn't eliminate risk, early hepatitis B infections can produce low viral levels that are undetectable by screening. And infants can be exposed to hepatitis B through other caregivers and household contacts who are infected. Despite the recent change, the American Academy of Pediatrics continues to strongly recommend a universal birth dose within 24 hours of birth followed by a completion of the full series by 18 months. And while the CDC recommendations may shift how clinicians approach the birth dose vaccination, insurance coverage is unlikely to change in the near term. And for those who can't get tested, the CDC still recommends getting your newborn vaccinated. As always, the most important step is having informed conversations with qualified professionals to make sure that you know what's right for you and your family.